Hey, how's it going? Kermit Chris here. Welcome to Assassin's Creed 4. Looks like we're getting straight into the action here. Bit of naval warfare. Firing cannons. Looks like it's pretty much the same as what we did for Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah. Oh, we can move it. Take them down. Or not. Come on, guys. So, yeah, we, we, we aim this time. Something we didn't have last time. We have the swivel cannons. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely better. And still use the swivel cannons. The new cannons at the back. There's flaming barrels up here. Just trying to get it over that wave. There we go. Uh oh. Ah. That must be the captain. And there's an assassin. Well, we're in the water, so we're fine then. <laughs> is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Don't make promises you can't keep. Okay. There's a bit of swimming now. Bit of breaststroke. Does he swim faster? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, I've literally just learned how to do it myself and then it tells me. Let's go onto this island. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is that that assassin? Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? I don't know. You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Shooting with wet powder. Sneaks be. <laughs> Oops. Come on, uh, mate. We're off to a bad start. Oh, why'd he go that way? Come on, man. Assassin's Creed up to its old tricks. I'm pretty sure it went this way. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? No, you'll run that distance. I'll swim. Probably a bit more likely. Go to the top of this, get the uh, eagle uh, viewpoint. On a nice big island. Somewhere in the Caribbean. There's a chest. Oh, there's the guy. Where's <laughs> Posh Kit? Uh, oh, let's get this chest. No, I best not follow him then, as soon as he said that. There's loads of stuff. What's that triangle thing? Or is it up the tree? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, can I climb that? There we go. Fragment. Okay. I only assume that's to do with the animus. Some sort of animal that's being killed. So we're still going with the collecting animal hides and stuff. I know I've kind of strayed, I'm not really chasing the guy anymore, but I just wanted to pick up all this stuff while I was here. Uh, where is that? It's at the top. On this. Nope. Took a leap of faith. So someone's obviously lived here. There's the hangings out. Uh, the washings out. Sorry. Got little huts. And all these towers. Keep your distance! 
Out. Right, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm chasing them. Kill. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> made the first move, so may as well. Is this not where we came from? Dual wielding swords, I like this. Yeah. Uh, what's he got? Uh, what's that? It was a glass thing, I think. Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Sumas humilde servidor, El Gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Cool, alright, I'm gonna get the reward for myself. <laughs> it just dons a dead man's clothes, but. Oh well. Doesn't really know what he's got himself into, I don't think. I don't think he knows about the uh, assassin order. Just fine. I know I haven't got everything off the island, but I may as well go and get this chest. Now that I'm not chasing someone. Oh, restricted area. All right, okay. New objective: free the merchant. Oh, uh, stocking zones. Yep, pretty much the same as Assassin's Creed Three. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! For one reason I shouldn't let your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Take my sugar! There's a map over there as well. Another chest, another fragment. That's all sorts. Oh God. Oh God. Right, where's the guy that's here? Oh, there he is. He's stuck on a rock. Uh, how do I kill him? Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Might as well just go and kill this guy. What? He's not doing much. Oh. Okay, they know about me now. There's a turtle. I really want to get the turtle. I want to go see it. Look. I don't know why he's going so far inland. That's very cool. Right. Uh, what's this? 
Oh, can I not get the flag? Yeah. No. Hey, get out of the shrubs. Sorry, I'm not trying to be in the shrubs. Uh, do I have a gun? Something I can kill him with. Ow. Well, that's not fair. Oh, there we go. Right, just get this chest. Should be quick. I feel like as soon as I free the merchant, I'll be uh, off on the ship. Get this map. Oh, there we go, treasure maps. Okay. Oh, does that mean it's here? Okay. Uh... Maybe it's not. Is that the Yeah, it doesn't look like the speech. I'll pay you! Anything you like. Right. Where's this merchant? Hello. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Oh. That is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? <laughs> yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Indeed it has. For me. <laughs> right, reach ship's wheel. Cool. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Don't know about you guys, but I've never tried to swim in boots. Oh, well, I, I, I don't see it being that easy. Um, how do I get up? Climb up the rudder. No. Nope. Ah, there we go. That's probably these on the other side, but I didn't see them. Oi, I'm climbing all over the ship. Right. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? We're already on full. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. <laughs> the raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, I might have to slow down around here. Those In fact, it's quite animated me to. by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. Yes. Flamingos. But most pirates stalk the winter passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane in its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. Oh, they'll come for the rum. There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. 
Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. All right. We'll be leaving the bay. Look at the event. Whoa. Oh yeah, I remember that being the feature of the game. Whaling. I'm sure that didn't go too, down too well with the uh, Peter and sorts. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvellous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. And you'll see some more, I bet. We can start singing some sea shanties. What was that? All right, easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. Oh. That's it. Down. There's lights all over. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Upstoga. Yeah. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're going to need this. There you go. Airpiece, okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? It does work, yeah. All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Where did she go? What the stuff? Oh, there. <laughs> Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Whoa. So yeah, I think they talked about Abstergo Damon. Oh, we heard it. Maybe you saw Liberation. Point. That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, yeah. we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course, edited versions of real history, but only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean pirates. So that's your gig. <clears throat> It'll just take a minute. Pirates okay. of the Caribbean. <clears throat> hey there. Just said. Well, thank you, Nancy. Bonjour, Nancy. I recognize that voice. Uh, I'm sure that's Rebecca. Assassino. Assassino. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade, your communicator. A, a tablet. Power it up okay. and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Mm, a. Okay. Employee passport. Oh god, is this a full document? Welcome to the team. Bold step towards the best year of your career. So yeah, basically just saying Oh, there's all the improvements they've made. I can't really read it. It's a bit too small, but uh oh, there's the breakdown. Fab, so basically we work in making games <laughs> and we're using um, VR pretty much that's what we need right close communicator 
You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Okay. Well, this is nice. I wish I had one of these in my office. And an aquarium lift. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up yep. to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Yep, I'm trying. There we go. You ready? Let's go. Okay. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Olivier Garneau. Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Wow. Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? I have no Just words. Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so, Angie. this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Donor. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. Awesome. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you There's later. There's a QR code there. Thank you. Wow, well, this is my workstation. <laughs> uh, John's working down there. And I've got a statue by the looks of it. What's this? Have I got more files? No? What do I do with this? There's a little yellow thing. Oh, unless that's to go back in there. I've got some books. Um, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, well. Thank you very much for joining, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will be continuing this story. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!